Well, good morning to you. Ah, uh, yeah, sort of funny sort of day today. It's sort of trying to drizzle, and the forecast says that we're going to get intermittent showers throughout the day, which sort of predicates against doing any um, outdoor stuff. But what we're going to do to start with is we're going to go and do some shopping. Not a lot, just a little bit. But I guess one of the things that really made me want to make a video today is I don't very often get the chance to say it's the 29th of February 2024. Yeah, every four years you can say that. And I, I just thought I'd come this way by way of a change. We won't go down through Marty's, eh? We'll, we'll go through Poi. Sometimes change is as good as a rest. So we reach Proy Sir Clays, and this is why we tend not to use this route. The traffic here is not so much fun, but look at that lovely tree there in flower. So far, quite often you get to this road and run into a lorry coming the other way. So lack of lorries is a good thing. wonderful tiling on that church tower, the spire. I got that wrong. I had right of way. Never mind. We think that there's a lot of people in heaven or hell who said it was my right of way. And we cross. I don't know what we're going to see from the camera. That's the River Clays. Which of course is why it's called Poi Sir Clays. Definitely springing. 
Fainton. So we arrive at Isersa Creuse from the other route. These buildings are the old railway buildings. Sadly there is no railway here, but there used to be. And this little roundabout commemorates that fact. Well, one way or another, that was a very pleasant trip to the shops. Uh, there's a reason that I run a car like this. My pals in the Brico Marche ask me sometimes to get rid of things for them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I pick things up like this for firewood. And you look at it and you think, that's too good for firewood. You know, it's, well, what is it? It's, it's a playpen for small children or something, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, I better get this unloaded and I, yeah, I better get it cut up for burning. Of course, some people don't think I should cut that up for burning. They think I should leave that as a kennel or something. Hmm. Well, this crate is going to take quite a bit of pulling apart. It's, it's actually very solidly built with nails in everywhere. But Grandma actually doesn't want me to take it apart. She wants to play with it and, yeah, mm. I'll have to wait till she goes to bed.